are you from uh, this area in California? Oh, no, nah, I'm from like North Africa. Nice meeting you. I love your tattoos, man. Um, uh, are you going to get more tattoos? Yeah, for sure. Glow in the dark 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 I got my little backpack it is so easy to see Even when the lights go out My friends can still find me Come find me Glow in the dark Glow in the dark Backpack I turn my lights off at night Night bright And I look out to <laughs> And see a sight Night It's my only friend My friend My night light Night bright Glow in the dark Glow in so no monsters get me Glow in the dark Glow in the dark Glow in the dark So I sleep so well How you feeling over there, brother? That felt good. Um, that felt nice. Can we name that song? Since I messed up, I said Night Bright. I should have said Night Light. But you know what? Something in my brain switched, and I said, you know. Night it, Bright was a toy in the 80s. Remember that? The Night oh, Bright? Oh, so I didn't mess up. Yeah, you're good. Well, that was like, was that like a. Wasn't that like the glow board? Wasn't the Night Bright the glow board thing? I think you're right. I think so. So I maybe. Did, so I didn't mess up. No, Th that, that no. really exists. No, no, no. I thought that I you thought were singing that for a reason. No, 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 no. That in my mind, once well, I guess said, guess what? There's no mistakes on yeah, scissors. There's bros. no mistakes. But while I said night bright, and my the the the, the demons inside, the demons like, oh, no, Steve, you messed there's, up, Steve. Yeah, there's there's no such thing as a night bright. You should have said. Night light. Now, did your voice say anything mean to you, like a name? Did it call you a name or anything? No, it didn't have that much. Because this is why, while we're doing it. Oh, okay. That'd be interesting, though, if it was like it was that quick. You idiot! Why did you do that? Do you have the mean little voice in your head? <laughs> <laughs> I think we all got it from time to time. You do. Yeah. Now, do you? I've always wondered this, while you're doing your performance or your comedy, while you're in on stage, you have an angel talking to you, huh? Because you're so, do you, you must have a five guardian angels, like riff, 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 now, do talk about that guy with the hat, <sighs> lady with the brown hair, boom, boom, right? You must have angels on your side. I mean, that's a nice way to look at it. Isn't it? Remember the movie Angels in the Outfield? No, is that a baseball movie? Oh boy, I forgot. I forgot. It, I forgot that you and I don't have the same movie references. No, we sometimes don't. we really don't. Sometimes and I that's know. okay. Like you were saying stuff I never even heard of, right? And then Chris was agreeing with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it infuriated me. I'm like, God damn it, they're not on my movie side. How come I didn't see these movies that they're talking about? But how's that Red Bull? <laughs> 
Is it a good one? It's a good or one. Or a good Thank one. Thank you. I appreciate it. I needed it. Hey, man. I needed a little bit. Thanks pit. to Red Bull for continuing to sponsor the Scissor Bros with that product, baby. It's a Red Bull morning. It's a Red Bull morning. Ooh. It's, it's a, a Red, Red Bull morning. morning. It's, it's a Red Bull morning. 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 And that's out to Red Bull. And that keep is, sending those cans of Red Bull. And that is our officially licensed It's a Red Bull Morning song. What if a representative from Red Bull yeah. watches that and they go, I like that jingle. We're putting can, it in the next commercial. Can we use that? What what do we charge them for the, the jingle? Red Bull for life. No. I already have a number. <laughs> what? I have a number. I have you a have number. a number? Yeah, oh, wait, do. are you a good negotiator all of a sudden? Well, can you hear me out? Yeah, I will. I don't know what. I, I Maybe the Lord spoke to me just now. What did he say? $350,000. Oh, my goodness. $350,000. For that jingle? $350,000. That way, you don't have to worry about diapers. You could put a down payment on a home in Joshua Tree. You know what? Fire up that song again. <laughs> it's a Red Bull morning. 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 Let let me let me tell you let me ask you something. Yeah. I'm not gonna say his name, but I had a I had a I ran into a buddy of mine and I hadn't seen him in a while. He's doing good. This and is a person or a dog? <laughs> <laughs> this is a person. I just like the idea. This is a person. I just like the idea, Steve, of you talking about a friend that you haven't seen in a while, and it turns out to be a dog. <laughs> like I'm talking to Lassie. Hi, yeah. Lassie. Hi, hi, girl. How you doing there? <laughs> no, it was not a dog. Okay, I just want to make sure. It was a buddy of mine. Okay, real good friend. And we both have sobriety. You know, we have that in common. I don't yeah, want to yeah. say uh, protecting his anonymity. Yeah, yeah. But because um, I was talking, you know, because we mentioned about me looking at properties in Pittsburgh. You know, because yeah. properties are so cheap. He purchased. A home in Joshua Tree. And? And I was saying, what if, like, if we keep doing this and we find cheap properties in Joshua Tree, would you be open to moving to Joshua Tree? Because there's a spiritual vortex out there. Okay, cool. That's a hard no. <laughs> I thought about it. I, I did the classic Steve think about it. I went through a, a million that, miles that an hour. quick? Oh, yeah. I did. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And I know why, the number one reason. Why? Too far away from the comedy clubs. Yeah, of course. Might as well say goodbye. It's a Red, Red Bull morning. morning. It's a Red Bull 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 Morning. Would you, I know we're still working on our um, Ghost Hunters thing. Jeremiah. Yeah? What are you doing? Playing with mulch. Don't you have dates to plug? Oh yeah, I'm gonna be in New York City, Tuesday, May 17th, doing stand-up on the spot. Come on out and see it. And there's a new stand-up on the spot episode coming out very soon, look out for that. And then June two through four, I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, and I got more dates on the horizon. And then don't we have something in June? June 16th to the 19th, we're going to be at a summer camp. Come join us at Camp Ra, camp R-A-H-H dot com. Hope to see you there. Also, June 29th, Scissor Bros Live at the Ontario Improv. Get your tickets soon. Thanks for checking us out on Patreon, and let's get back into this episode of Scissor Bros. We love y'all. Love y'all. But yeah. would you... I was, talking, to, I was talking to Zach about it recently. He's shout trying out to, to Zach. He's trying to get the, the EVP and, Vinny, and stuff. We like love that. you guys. Yeah, of okay. course. Yeah. Yeah. And? Well, I'm thinking, I mean, I might ask the comedy store soon if, if we can just spend the night there and see if we see any ghosts. 
It's a Red, Red Bull, Bull morning. morning. <laughs> did Red that freak Bull you out? Did that freak you out yeah. a little bit? Yeah, I know it did. It freaked me out. You're just saying it. Okay, since you brought that up, what? where would we sleep? Probably in the main room stage. It's a Red, Red Bull, Bull morning. morning. It's a Red Bull morning. morning. It's a Red, Red Bull, Bull morning. morning. I would be so petrified. How many? Um, <laughs> how many dog friends do you have? What? Yeah, how many dog friends do you have? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really thought about that. Mm. Uh, well, my neighbors have dogs, mm-hmm. and then and do you guys hang out? Yeah, I mean, uh, one of my neighbors has a new kind of a terrier mix. Right. Um, uh, my gal on the east has like east coast has about eight dogs. Eight. So I want to give them a shout out. Can I get, shout out three? The, you the, know all the names. Three of the Chihuahuas. Well, the the, the, the main one are the three Chihuahuas, that, and I want to give them love right now. That's a lot of dogs. So shout out to Daisy. Shout out to Tup Tup. And shout out to Winnie. Yeah. And if I were to get a dog, because I I would probably. Uh, yeah, I would probably get like a terrier or like a small dog. If you got a wiener dog, I'd be jealous of you. A Dotson? Mm-hmm. Why? I love him. You know what's crazy? I grew up, uh, shout out to my friend David Oliver growing up. He was my childhood friend. He had a wiener dog. And? And it would run around the avocado trees and he was a great <sighs> dog. Yeah. Yeah. They're cool. So you have a lot of memories with uh, Dotsons? Oh, yeah. How co- you know what? Why don't you get a dog to, to, to Dude, expand your I family? I can't. My wife, nope. my wife wants another baby. Baby time. Welcome to baby time. Well, well. Where Steve and I talk about babies and the possibilities of babies baby entering time. the two of our lives. It's a new segment on the show that that people have been loving lately. Well. It's okay. We don't have to. I mean, I know that that, that 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 there's a lot of responsibilities. I can't even begin to imagine. I already commended you on your parenting skills. I think you're doing a great job. Um, but I think that if you just continue what you're doing, you're on the right path, man. You know, and I think that will work itself out. The universe will offer different things in your path in order for you, you know, yeah, to, to, to make that happen. Yeah. Well, I yeah. like the way you, you work you're hard. At I mean. I just don't want you to shift gears because you already are on a hundred. To me, you're already like. Uh, uh, uh. I don't want you to. I don't want you to go like over 190 miles per. You know, like. Uh, you right. Know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because you need. You know, we need sustainability. Oh, hey you know? Steve, you want to talk about a little bit of this? Yeah. Okay. So this is one of Steve's segment ideas that mm-hmm. uh, that I, as a scissor brother want to respect and get involved with so this is gonna be a new segment called blue flame time and i thought it would be a great idea to add another aspect of the podcast where um we could light our farts but we won't know when they'll be coming and so that that'd be awesome it's natural yeah it's a natural kind of progression or fun little element we could add to the podcast and uh you know and then uh and then you have your lighter and then i have this lighter and it could happen at any time folks a watch out fl- at home a blue flame could happen at any time we don't recommend you doing that this at home if you do it at home make sure you have the right supervision and the right um safety um yeah considerations yep. involved uh yep. we're gonna do it in the safety safety of this room have you done a blue like you are you familiar with blue flames i'm you familiar with that i've never done it before though like all the kids growing up have done this yeah have you oh yeah you've seen blue flame there's a reason why they call it blue flame yeah um what'd you eat last night for dinner i had a deep dish pizza you had a deep dish pizza yeah from where? Masa. Masa. And Los Feliz. So what did it, what toppings were on there? Sausage pepperoni. Ooh, you might have a fart building up. I might. I played basketball earlier today too. Yeah? Yeah. Shout out to our main man, Andrew Nicholas. He plays basketball too. Maybe you yeah. guys just do a little league. He's come and played before. 
Could I play? Anytime you want to come. I could dribble. Okay, then come play with so us. So I would be a point guard, wouldn't I? Yeah. So could I dribble and pass it to you? Yeah, absolutely. But here's Dude, the thing. What? It's 11 a.m. on Saturdays. Do you want to come? You're welcome to any time. Negative. Negative. How's no your sleep way. schedule going, by the way? We talked about it quite at length uh, a, a couple months ago on the show. And I was curious if uh, if it's shifted at all or not. And I think I just got well, my answer. Well, it needs to shift very soon. Why very soon? I'm in a relationship now. And she doesn't like it, does she? No. <laughs> what was that? No. Because she can't reach you on your cell phone. That's why. Yes. Do not disturb. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's becoming not only, I think it's with probably, I don't want to generalize, but if you're in a monogamous relationship, I think if you have my type of sleep schedule, 90, over 90% of your partners would highly disagree with it. With 90%? Yeah, they, cause you know, I have my own opinion on like, dude, it's, I, you know, like this is the way I've been and it's my decision. But now it's like you're involving another person in their scheduling. And if it's off, then it's, it's, it's very, especially if she's on the East coast. Yeah. There's there's already three hour difference. And so if I'm snoo, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I've been slowly kind of weaning off that. Like I've been setting the alarm. Like she, like you wake up when she's about to go to bed and that's an issue. Let's ask Gerald what he how he feels. Okay. Gerald, how do you feel about my sleeping schedule? I think Jeremiah should get off your fucking back. We've covered this. Yeah, what else? Actually, he might have a point. Let me ask you this. What can I do, Gerald, to improve it? Do you have any tips? Sure. Whatever you're doing to improve, do the opposite of that times two. There you have it. Okay. Well, I think that's solid advice. What time... I want to know your scheduling. We've talked. We've talked about it on the show. We have. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's early. Okay. Yeah, that's all you need to know. It's early. But you know, we're figuring it out, baby. We are, and it it's a work I'm in a- progress. So I've been weaning off. So instead of waking up at four p.m., I've been changing it to three thirty, and then Dude, three o'clock, and I, then two thirty. I had a really good conversation with the head of the camp that we're doing in seattle can you, can you give me an update please? yeah yeah okay can we shout that out though like let's camp just promote Raw, it june 16th through 19th guys all it's inclusive camp all inclusive summer, summer camp. camp it's an adult summer camp technology free weekend we're gonna be there we have so much fun stuff planned we have a live scissor bros that we're gonna do mm-hmm. we're doing challenges with you guys the campers there's activities such as kayaking archery yoga, yoga. sign up today rock folks. climbing i just found rock out Rock climbing it's a good deal there's a pot it's a good there's deal there's a pottery folks. class that i want to recreate the movie ghost with you <laughs> oh, my love, my love. No, no 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 don't sing that because you're going to ruin them. I love that movie. I'm hungry <laughs> for your Oh, my touch. God. Patrick Swayze is such a hunk. Uh, <laughs> Why didn't I do Stop. Dude, he was a looker, dude. What about Demi Moore? She's a good-looking gal. <laughs> <laughs> dude, Patrick Swayze. But you're like, but the real star of the show hunk. is Patrick Swayze. And you know it. He was such a good actor. Rest in peace. Did you see that Patrick one movie? Swayze, dude. Did you ever see Texas Roadhouse? I knew you were going to bring... That's the one I didn't see. Are you serious? I don't see the same movies as you, friend. That's in the I 80s, I have a whole though. different palette. That's in the I don't, 80s. I, I didn't get to it. Is that the one with the arm wrestle? <laughs> That's over the top with Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Edit that out. <laughs> 
timestamp that out. Yeah, and I'm gonna edit it oh right back god, in. Oh my god, I'm Dude, so I sorry. I can't believe you thought that Patrick Swayze was in Over the Top. No, That's no, one of my Road favorite House. '80s movies. Wait, Roadhouse. What was the name oh of it? Oh my god. What was the name of it? What was what? the name of it? What was the name of it? Texas Roadhouse. He's a body. Go- he's a bouncer. Yes. At a at a dive bar. So you, when you would go to Blockbuster, you'd see the cover, but never rent yeah, it. Yeah, he was. It, it was him in the bar. Yeah. Maybe holding a, a pool stick or something. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll go watch it. All Where right. could I purchase the movie? Is it on Tubi? Are you on Tubi? No. I want to do a little Tubi commercial. What is Tubi? Tu- I don't even know what Tubi is. Tubi is a movie app. Where you could see television shows, movies, t- uh, whatever, documentaries. This is the kick, though. You could see all this stuff, but every 30 to 15 minutes, you have to see ads. But there's all kinds of the is selection. Is it free, though? It's free. Really? I've seen so many movies. Online? On- it's on your phone. Yeah, it's a, it's like a, a app. app. It's an app. It's an app. Can you download for your Apple You can TV? have it on your Xbox. You could have it on your phone. All right, I'll check so it out. So you could see all kinds of free movies. I'm literally, I literally, I don't know what that is, yeah. Yeah, so, so download Tubi today. And Tubi, I just did a free commercial yeah. for you. And so Steve if you, is looking for $350,000, I'm looking for $350,000, okay? Because Steve wants a Joshua Tree house. He wants I, Pennsylvania I, want, house. I want a trailer he wants in a Joshua LA Tree. House. I need a couple things. I need my Honda Civic or Toyota Corolla. I need a couple things. What were we talking about? Patrick Swayze. I'm sorry. What were we talking so about? So you know how it's Mother's Day this weekend? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I tried to surprise my wife and I went to McDonald's uh, because we love their McDonald's ice cream cones and we don't get them very often. They're just simple. And I came home and she wasn't home and they just, they melted before she could get home. (laughs) I'm so sorry that happened. I don't know why I told you that. Why did you even say that? (laughs) Let's edit that out. I'm going to edit it back in. Why didn't you get... Because I grew up with McDonald's, uh, their caramel sundaes. Yeah. You should have got that. You could put it in the freezer. Big mistake on my part. Why didn't you put them in the freezer? Because. Why didn't you put the cone in the freezer? Because it was already leaking by the time I got home. I had two that was like running down my arm. Ooh. And there's a McDonald's right around the corner and I still didn't make it. It's so hot out. It's so hot out right now. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you get the half and half, half chocolate, half vanilla? or I'm a vanilla vanilla purist. uh, I mean, what about chocolate, man? I do like chocolate, but I'm saying like on those cones, those McDonald's cones. There's something about the McDonald's vanilla ice cream that I like a little bit more than the chocolate. They've been strong with their soft serve, huh? For years. For since as long as I remember. Yeah. Yeah, and you know how much I love their breakfast. Oh, I know. Yeah. But anyway, so you wanted to do a Demi Moore Patrick Swayze ghost reenactment. Yeah, you know, our fingers, you know, colliding. Like, <laughs> it's like going everywhere like yeah. Oh, let's we talk a, about the camp again. The we camp, get a, the we camp. get a Whoopi Goldberg stand in and be like, wow. That'd be amazing. She was great in that movie, by the way. Yeah. Uh, camp Raw. Let's go. Let's stick to Camp Raw. I mean, we, we you know, CampRaw.com. That's, I don't want to overplug it, but like no, it, no, it's. No, but you, you found out, you said you found out added information. Okay. So they're going to do this thing where there's programs for the weekend. I had this idea, right? So the way that people can find out if they want to do challenges or activities with us is next to each thing in the program, they're going to put pairs of scissors. So they're like, oh, like, so that's like a subtle code for the scissor bros will be at these events. And people could go to every single one if they wanted to. What's a sleeping arrangement going to be like? We are in a cabin with a bunch of campers. Oh, Just like I'm... grade school. Oh, no. What does that mean, oh, no? I'm not going to get a wink of sleep. You can't sleep next to people? In a cabin filled with campers? Yeah. I'm a va- solo vampire, my friend. Oh, no, no. I'm going to be no, literally... No, no, no. You guys are going to no. be soft asleep. Leading... And my eyes are going to be wide open staring at the Steve, log cabin ceiling. Leading up... Oh, no! Leading up to the camp... For the, the couple weeks before camp, I'm going to ask you to, to work on your sleep schedule so you can sleep peacefully at camp so you're not a what zombie. Time is the, what time is curfew? Uh, I mean, the sleep yeah, curfew. I don't know when lights are out or anything like that. I'm know. sure like 9 o'clock. I doubt that. That's camp rules, isn't it? Maybe, but we're When I went to Camp adults. Hume, Hume Lake. We're riding on a school bus over to the island, too. It's going to like be like a movie. Yeah. 
what time do you think we're going to go to bed? If you were the camp administrator. Uh, probably 10 or 11. Oh, I am, I am going to. Oh, my God. It's going to be rough for me, dude. Well, can I take I'm sleep aid? You... Can I take my sleep aid? Yeah, of course. <sighs> and then I'll have Red Bulls for you in the morning, baby. I was going to. That was my next question. There'll be Red Bulls under my bunk. I will ask for that on your behalf. I'll be like, hey, Steve needs to function. Because orange juice ain't just ain't gonna cut it. You know, I like orange juice a lot, right? Oh yeah, yeah. You've been peed inside an orange juice bottle. <laughs> okay, so sign up today, folks. Camp Raw, C A M P R A H H dot com. It's a great deal. Four days for a nice price. There you go. Yes. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I am. I told you. I said I want to mention it, but I didn't want to like talk about it too much because there are, you know, for the majority of our scissor siblings, they're not going to be able to make it. But you will be able to see the documentation on uh, it. We are going to film everything. This is going to be fun. Okay. Yeah. Well, we got to do some challenges, at least a kayaking one or something. No, no, no. They they said that, that we're going to race from one side of the island to the other. What do you mean? Like, oh, kayaking? Yeah. Oh, I got to start working out then. You're probably stronger than me. No, I'm not. Look at my arms. Do you want to do some? No, we're not oh, going to. Let's do some scissor weights arms. You want to do some scissor weights? Yeah, yeah. Let's do some okay. scissor weights. Okay. Okay. If you have a weight at home, a free weight, or you can pick up a child or a dog or anything like that. But you're going to have to cross your arm. We're going to have to cross them. So five with your right, five with your left. Ready? Yeah, yeah. And, and, yet, and then and really like focus on like letting some positivity yeah, in today yes. and feeling good about that and putting that out there. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You ready? Ready. All right. One, One two, two, three, four, four five. five. Switch. Okay. One, One, two, <laughs> three, four, four. And five. five. One more, five more to the right. Five. One, <laughs> two, two, three, three four, four, five. Five, five more to the left. left. One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three, four, four and, and five. five. Okay. Woo. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So did you, did you <sighs> notice anything different about my face? Wait a second. No, hold up. Think about it. Look no, at no, me. No, I'm looking. The whole thing. Did you get your eyebrows done? Negative. Okay. Botox? Negative. Hmm. New tan? Hardly see the sun. Negative. Uh, all your boogers are out? <laughs> no. Yeah. I was telling you that all your boogers were out. That was the difference. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, are you wearing some mascara? Some mascara? Don't wear not a not in a Korean boy band. Not dude. not you're not wearing blush? Nah, dude. Wait a second. Do you have a mustache? Steve's got a mustache. I've been trying to grow it out. First time. How come? Well, I like it, but my, my lady likes it, too. Whoa! Doing it for the ladies. Don't do that. <laughs> ladies. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> ladies. I don't like that. What about the... <laughs> now, do I look more... Do I look more manly? Do I... What do I... Do I look younger? More manly? Or like, what is... What's going on here? It's split. I can't grow hair right here. Yeah, I think you look um, uh, less Korean. I thought more Korean. I don't know, man. Really? Yeah, I don't know. So You give me different vibes. With just this? Yeah. Do I look younger it's or like older? It's like you turned white. With this? <laughs> oh, it's like what? Like Tombstone, Doc Holliday? I don't know. I, well, those are pretty thick mustaches. Uh, uh, Ouch! I, I mean, sorry. I know it's okay. I, I there's you know. a little bit of a gap. <laughs> hey man, I I have a freaking dad beard. I can't say anything. 
I can't say anything at all, dude. I got I got a I got a brushy, burly freaking dad beard. How long does it take for me to get that? This you'll never have. <laughs> I don't think you have the ability to grow a beard, do you? I'm going to get hair growing product and squirt it on my... On your cheeks? Really? And I'm going to prove you wrong. I would love to see you with a beard. I'm going to prove you wrong, my friend. Okay, prove me wrong. How do I get the middle part? Just give me that. I don't know. Because I asked Somebody Bob else... I asked Bob a while ago. I'm like, hey, how do, you, how do I grow one of those? He goes, dude. You have to, sh if you're not growing hair here, dude, you have to shave. Keep shaving. Keep shaving that part. Yeah. I go, huh? He told me some good news last night. I can't say because it's his good news, but congrats. I'll tell you after the podcast if, or you probably already know, but like. I don't. Oh, okay. Can I, can I guess? Well, I can't really say because uh, it's not out. He got like a booking. That's all I can say. Yeah. So sending good vibes to Mr. Shout Bobby, out to Lee. Bobby Reby. I don't. It's not my news to share. But yeah, he, that's he fine. got something good. Yeah, good, good. I good. saw him and uh, Griffin at uh, the comedy store last night, and then uh, Griffin and I went uh, to dinner at Mel's. Scissor Brothers. Scissor Bros is sponsored by Fanimal. Buying tickets can suck. The hidden fees stink and coordinating with friends is a nightmare. If you're in charge and your friends flake, you're stuck with the whole bill. Now there's Fanimal, the better way to buy tickets. Fanimal has tickets to everything. And there are no fees. The price you see is the price you pay. They're almost always lower than anywhere else I look. And for any hot ticket, like a Laker game or Dave Chappelle, Fanimal is the, always the cheapest option. Nobody goes to live events alone, so why buy tickets alone? Fanimal's patented group purchase makes it easy. Set a minimum size for your group and choose the number of tickets you want to pay for yourself. Then you invite friends. When the minimum size is met, everyone gets charged and receives their tickets. If the minimum size isn't reached in time, well, nobody gets charged. <laughs> you don't commit until your friends do. Oh yeah, and Fanimal has amazing customer service. Don't take my word for it. Check out their hundreds of five-star reviews. The next time you need tickets, go to Fanimal.com and sign up with Scissor Bros for $20 of credit toward your first purchase. Check out Fanimal and experience, experience more. <laughs> <laughs> You went to dinner with him? Mm-hmm. What'd you order? Steak and eggs. What did he order? Uh, a short stack of pancakes and a plate of bacon. Can I ask this question? Yeah. Did you order a milkshake? I didn't, because I had... <gasps> oh, shit, said the kitty cat. Gerald, do you believe that? He didn't drink a milkshake. Yeah, okay. And I don't do coke out of Fox assholes. Why? Because I had deep dish earlier in the night and I was like, this is already too much. I was already eating like fat guy's food anyway. And I didn't, I shouldn't, You're, I shouldn't have ordered the steak and eggs anyway. It was, it was like, yeah. I, I gotta be honest with you. You, you brought up deep dish pizza twice now and now I'm craving the, the, the deep dish pizza. Do you want a slice? You got some? I have leftovers from last night. I don't want to take your leftovers. I want to order not? a fresh, because I want to order a fresh pizza pie out the oven i appreciate it but i want a fresh one i can out go the put oven. it in the microwave and no, bring no, it out to I you don't right want now to take your leftovers man you I've that's already for your had, i've already had so that's much for of your it. family no i literally no, no that's for your family you you give them the, the 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 other slices mine doesn't like deep dish well it's time to divorce your wife i appreciate it but you keep those my wife doesn't like deep dish Give me your kid. Your kid will love love the the, the deep. Dish I've already pie. fed him the sausage off of it. Oh, that, that's so sweet of you. My wife made me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, "This is my pizza." She's like, "You, you would like some sausage?" I was like, yeah. "All right." Uh, are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, and he liked it. He liked it a lot. Um. Now, what else is like, do you have any, what else, I mean, what else is going on in like, well, like in the last couple of days, did anything like, 
happen or like at like like you've been doing your sets or are you writing new stuff or yeah a little bit of this a little bit of that i brought up bob last night in the or that's always a treat uh he he made me do this thing last night where i gave him a really nice intro and he goes he goes you need to give me a worse intro he said this in front of the crowd he goes give me a worse intro so so they're not expecting so much from me what? So they oh, lower their expectations. Oh. I go, okay. Um, well, uh, here, I'll just play it for you. I think I have the recording. Play it on the thing. Yeah, I'll play it into the mic. You you voice I re- I record, memoed it? I record all my sets. Oh. Let me try to let me try to find this. One second. I yeah, I think I still have this actually. Now now has he done this where like you're bringing him up and then he like hugs you on stage for an extended period oh, of time. Oh yeah. Of He's course. done that to make you feel uncomfortable. He's like, "Dude, yeah, just just, of course. just just be there with me." Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Here we go. Let's see. It's nice to fun it was a fun moment for for me and for bob yeah. i think too but yeah it's good times before we move to our challenge yeah i want from you a story with you and my brother from the past that's memorable something you have not shared think about it oh wow something you haven't shared yet but because he's something brought I, you on the road something right i haven't shared on, on a yeah. podcast um just a feel good story because okay, he's so, very gracious and he 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 has always okay. treated his openers very well. Go ahead. Here's this, uh here's a, a story. It's not like necessarily funny or anything. It's more just like a nice story about uh, your brother. Um, there was a guy who, when we were in Sacramento one year, that um, recognized Bob in the like corner store it was like a cvs or something that we were getting groceries there before we went back to our condo i thought didn't you guys go to restaurant this is like this is like for the weekend so what he would do sometimes on the weekends is rather than because well you know when you and i are on the road like we eat together we do everything together right even go to the gas station Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 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 we do all that he doesn't want to do any of that Start to fail. He wants to bring his video game console and yeah. stay in his hotel room and play. Yeah. So he would go, listen, man. He goes, we're not doing lunch tomorrow, okay? <laughs> so this is what we're going to do. He goes, we're going to the grocery store. I want you to get groceries for the weekend. And I don't want you to hold back. Get whatever you want. All right? He goes, because I'm not seeing you before the show's tomorrow. <laughs> I go, okay. So I was getting naked juice. I was getting this expensive stuff that I never buy myself. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Get whatever you want. And he's, he goes, is that everything? I go, oh, I could get this. And he goes, yeah, yeah, get that but, too. But, 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 but the, you said naked juice. What food items? Like 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 to go salads? Oh, I was getting like frozen pizzas. Wait, uh, wait, wait. But what did you have in your hotel room? You're, uh, there's you, nothing in the hotel room. Then why would you get frozen pizzas? Because there's an oven in there. There's, there's like... A- 
there's an oven in the hotel room at these condos that they're like oh they're condos yeah, yeah, yeah. okay so I they're like okay, they're, they're fully furnished but they don't have any food in them okay so you got frozen pizzas naked juices tons of snacks like all this stuff right and while we're getting all this food and stuff we uh uh run into somebody who recognizes bobby and he goes hey man are you bobby lee he's like yeah yeah and he's like can i take a picture and and I took the picture for them, and he's like, and and uh, and oh no, sorry, <laughs> this guy didn't have a phone on him, and he why like left his ask, phone at home. Then what, why would you ask for a picture if you don't have? And, a phone? And he goes like this. He goes, "Oh no, I don't have my phone on oh. me." So uh, Bobby goes, uh, he goes, "Hey man, we're kind of hungry. Will you take us through the drive-through of that Taco Bell? We got in the stranger's car." <laughs> Oh and Bobby, as we're walking, he goes, we might get killed right now, man. Let's do this. <laughs> we go to the car. We sit. Bobby's riding shotgun. I'm in the back. And that guy was picking up like milk and stuff for his family. Bobby bought the milk and everything. And he bought this guy's groceries for this guy. And he got us a bunch of uh, Del Taco or Taco Bell, whatever it was. And the guy's like, nobody's ever going to believe me that this happened. This is crazy. And he was like so overjoyed that Bobby gave him like literally money for his family, gave him groceries. He got me groceries for the weekend, got us Del Taco. And uh, I go, hey, man, what's your cell phone number? I'll take a picture of you guys in the front of your car right now. So I took a picture from the back seat of your brother and this guy wow. just smiling, beaming. And I texted it to him. And that's just like a nice story about your brother. That's so great to hear isn't that I cool mean, i mean you made that dude's day it was cool man he was literally picking up milk for like his his little daughter at home and i'm sure there's hundreds of those stories that my, he, my he's brother done has done so many of that kind to of help things. people out yeah of course yeah he's a big heart big heart big heart so quentin tarantino please hire my brother for your next movie on your last movie how come tarantino oh I don't know, I just he said it's his last one tarantino says his last one i don't know i'm just putting it out there i mean i like it Oh, we did a fun little thing uh, in public. We did a little dance break on the streets of Hollywood Boulevard, and I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. And let's cut to that footage right now. Hey, Steve, we're going to add in the music later. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is this something I can do? Been having fun. This with has you been this a feel episode. good. This has been a feel good episode. Do you have a Do you have a memory of of a family member or Bobby that that you haven't shared that you can think of that's like maybe just like a slice of life moment that's just nice? I think it's important sometimes. You know, Steve and I, uh, we are all about putting positivity out there. Sometimes it's just good to reflect. I think, and just remember why we're grateful for the people around us and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I remember. Like I'm going to be doing that. But this right. weekend for Mother's Day, I'm going to right, kind of be celebrating right. my oh, wife. Oh, and then I'm, and... I'm visiting AZ, too. Yeah. I'm visiting my mom yeah. next week. I remember as kids, uh, we went to Yosemite National Park. It was mm -hmm. like my uncles and aunts. Everyone was there. We had a van, like one of those white vans. Yeah. And um, Bob, uh, he, made, he thought it was a good idea to drink uh, the water from the river. <laughs> river water? <laughs> the, the river water. And so I just remember as a kid him shitting and like diarrhea and throwing up in like the back of the van and me like and then him being outside and me just like oh like like i didn't it just i didn't realize what was happening because as a kid you don't realize that there's you know deadly things in there like things you shouldn't no, you, you know. start drinking yeah and so i'm like oh man like drink the river water and did your parents get upset that he drank the river water they just i just remember they made him like because i guess there's poo smell in the you know in the van like shit smells 
And then they're like, yeah, you go, go outside. And then he was just, he was just like, you know, diarrhea and he's throwing up. And I'm just like, oh, what? just river water's not good. So I don't know why I thought of that. <laughs> That's the past time that you remembered. <laughs> oh, I remember. Um, huh? I remember that. Uh, huh? I, hold up. Um, oh, there was moments too where, um, when I was doing um, off-season wrestling tournaments, mm -hmm. he would, uh, he would like so he wouldn't miss taking me to the meet or whatever, or he would like stay up and he said like one night he just stared at me sleeping like proud that I was gonna make the tournament or something and he was just like just like s making sure I was like sleeping well to get good sleep for this uh freestyle wrestling tournament and he told me that and it, that made me feel good I'm like wow he wants me to to do well in to, this su to succeed yeah. yeah so that that really so that's more that that was more like mm. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's just a nice. Yeah, I kind. You know what? Now I think about it, like, cause I've always. You, you are you're not the youngest, are you? I'm the middle. But don't you wish you had a younger brother or sister? I have a younger sister. Well, I wish I had a younger sibling. So do you? Yeah, cause it's like being the youngest. I would, you know, cause stuff like that only older siblings could do to you. Mm -hmm. You know, like you know make sure you make the wrestling tournament and watch you make sure you get good rest you know but i wish i had a younger how, you know how many brother years? or something or sister how, then i could be like oh let's you know let's go to the skate park or you know or something like that how many years apart are you and bob three that's how my brother and i were three years apart yeah yeah mm -hmm. man my wife is really wanting that for our son she's wanting another companion to uh I noticed too, cause you can't, <laughs> you brought this up so many times. It's on my mind. I know. It's on my mind right how, now. Okay, it's very like in the now. What's happening in, in my now. life? Yeah, yeah. Can are there other options where feasibly, financially? Oh, financially, it doesn't can, make sense at all. Yeah. Can you can you kind of vocalize? Hey, I could see that in our future. But for right now, just the whole layout of your place, it's perfect the way it is for your son. That's what I tried to say. See, I'm on your she, side. And she, I'm on your and side. She, and she goes, the other baby can sleep in the same room. And I'm like. <sighs> oh, you mean they could share the. They could share a room. Cause he has that his, has happened throughout history. Where, well, my you know, brother and I shared a room. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I know. Can you, um, could she be mindful as far as other options? I mean, yeah, but that's why I'm saying, why don't you get a dog or cat and be like, oh, I, you know, she's literally already said, I don't want any kind of pet or a hamster. You think a hamster is going to fill the void of a baby? No, I'm just trying to think of some options. Yeah. So can she wait a few years? What if we adopt you? And at that moment, Steve realized that Jeremiah was going to be his new dad. And he felt joy on the inside, but also he was a little bit perplexed of how he was going to see his girlfriend on the East Coast while being Jeremiah's son. Jeremiah said, Steve, you're welcome to sleep in the garage with Gerald. And Steve said, Papa, is that you? And Jeremiah said, yes, son, I'm your dada. Now, if you want to bring your sleeping bag over and relocate it to our place, then you're more than welcome. Because now, as your dad, I do know a lot of the things that you like and you don't like. So, what do you say? Will you be my son, Steve? Negative. Why won't you be my son, Steve? Because I'm your sister, bro. But my brother can also be my son. I'm not your son. I'm older than you. It's possible for my older friend to be my son. Just believe. Without being sad, let's go to the church.
challenge. <laughs> Think about it. What if I adopted you? Negative, negative. But are you <laughs> negatively positive? No, absolutely not. I'm your sister, brother. Why won't you be my sister, son? In another You're my dimension. Yeah, my friend. Best friends can also be dads and sons. Can we move to the challenge? We got a great challenge for you this week on Scissor Bros. And uh, basically, we did a challenge on the street. We've been wanting to do this for a bit. And uh, I think that you, as well as we, are constantly thinking of new challenge oh, ideas this is to a do new thing we inside did. We the did studio, new, outside the studio. We're going to explain it. We hit it. the streets. We did something new. And we're going to explain it when we cut to the challenge footage right here, right now. And after the challenge, that's that's the end, guys. So I hope I hope you like that. We love you guys. Love you guys. Campraw.com. Hey guys, we're on the street right now and we're doing our challenge to see who can get the first guy's phone number in the shortest amount of time. Yes, we're in the on Hollywood Boulevard. This is Scissor Bros on the street. Our first time doing street stuff. How you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty competitive and I think we got a lot of fun interviews that are about to happen. Thanks for tuning in. Hi, what's your name? Uh, my name is Mo. Mo, uh, are you from uh, this area in California? Oh, no, I'm from like North Africa. North Africa, cool. How, how long are you visiting for? I've been here in all of like all of USA for like four years now. Oh, nice. Nice. Do you live in Los Angeles now? Oh, no, I live in San Diego. Oh, so you're just up for the trip for the weekend? Oh, cool. How do you like it so far? That's very cool, like uh, American dream or something like that. Yeah, you're living the American dream? Like just Hollywood, you know, you see like uh, a lot of things, you know. Did you see the Doctor Strange premiere down the street? By the way, I'm sorry, my English is so-so, you know. It's great. I, yeah, I can understand it great. That's it. <laughs> nice. Uh, what, what what kind of hobbies uh, do you do? I like like motorcycle, you know. Yeah, I got for like two motorcycles in Morocco, like my country. But I try to make uh, my driver license for and I can buy one, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever play like pool or basketball? I like I play sometimes like soccer. I love soccer. I played keeper for years. I'm from Africa, you know. <laughs> it's big there. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Would you ever want to play soccer here? How long are you visiting for? Uh, now I live here in California, in San Diego. Oh, you live here? Like one hour and a half from here or two hours. Are, are you in town for this whole week? Yes. Would you want to meet up and play soccer maybe? Yeah, why not? Yeah, of course. Could I maybe get your your phone number? We we yeah, yeah is that cool? Yeah. Here, let me uh, uh let me take it down. Um, you got Snapchat? um, uh, I don't have Snapchat. Um, it's uh here. All right, that's calling uh my phone right now. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I'll be around uh, later in the week, but yeah, it was nice meeting you, man. Nice I'm Jeremiah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. thank you so much. Steve, Steve. Yeah, and yeah, that's our buddy Craig. Yeah, thanks so much, brother. Appreciate you, man. A minute 50, dude. A minute 50 to get a new friend's number, dude. How do you feel about that? You did a good job. You felt pretty good, huh? You did a good job. Oh, yeah, you like that? I was a little jealous. You, <laughs> you were jealous, how about? Because your know. boy just I pulled know. one out I know, I know, out of I know. nowhere, I know, I know, dude. I know, I know. Under two okay, minutes okay, to get a get, number get, for get, your boy. Get me one. Get okay, me one. fine. I got you. Okay, person. fine. You me one. Okay, you got okay. it. That's my buddy right there. Yeah, yeah. But this is the thing, I'm not trying to, this is, you still get the, you still got that, that was successful, but I, I grabbed that guy for you. So I expect you to grab a good patron for me as well. Oh, I will. Like a friendly guy, you know. Good job, you did good. It puts the pressure on me now. Yeah, are you feeling the heat right yeah, now? Yeah, I do, I just said it puts the pressure on me. Yeah, it but, puts the pressure on me. But what are you really going through right now in this moment? What's going through your head? Because under two minutes is a feat to get a number from a girl or a guy, and I got it. I, I know, I know. You got well, uh, a minute fifty to be exact. 
Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of pressure on me, and I'm feeling like I'm like I have the hamster wheel going. Okay, good job. You did good. Do you think that you might sh get shut out on the first one? I think so. I think so. Good job. But hey, you did it. You did it. You I'm, did it. I be I believe in you. Okay. And I'm excited to see this. Okay. We're here on uh, Hollywood Boulevard. Your name? My name is Anthony. Anthony, nice meeting you. Nice to meet you are you? Where are you visiting from? I'm from Seattle. You're from Seattle? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you're how long are you out here for? I've been out here since October. I go to acting school here. Oh, nice, yeah, nice. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, is, it, is, it, is the school on the boulevard? Uh, the school is actually by uh, Franklin back there. Okay, yeah. okay. And then uh, what? What are some of your favorite films that have inspired you? Favorite films? I would say I watched House of Gucci with Adam Driver. Oh, a lot of his work I've been really inspired by. Yeah, I just saw The Last Duel. Yeah, have you seen that? I haven't seen it yet, but it seems yeah. really good. Um, so are you into you, you like movies and everything? Yeah, I love movies. I mean, then how long are you out here for? I've been out here since October. October. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, what's are you gonna see the new movie, the Doctor Strange? Yeah, that's what my friends are saving me a spot at the premiere, so I'm gonna walk over there right now. Oh, you are. And what other movies are looking forward to? Oh, just anything Marvel wise. Like Marvel, I'm yeah. Watching Moon Knight, it's really good right now. Cool, cool. And then um. Are you, do, are you into, do you like coffee at all? I hate coffee. Oh, okay, okay, so, um, what about smoothies or, uh, uh Jamba Juice? No. No? Yeah. Huh. So, uh, are you into video games at all, or? Yeah. Okay. Okay. what are some of your favorite video games? Uh, more of a 2K Madden guy, like more of a sports yeah, guy. Yeah. Do you have it in any of your performances uh, coming up as far as a play or any kind of one-man, anything we could watch? Or? Uh, I do have some stuff on Amda. I had to do a production there a while ago, so yeah. check on Vimeo, you'll see something there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, um, how long are you out here for? Over a few months. Um, would you be open to getting some dinner with us sometime? No, thanks. Okay. Thank you for your time. You okay. <sighs> okay. So, Steve, you just got... Pretty rejected. How are you feeling, brother? Not too, not too hot. I thought he had a, I thought he was a friendly guy, but he kept shutting me down. I tried to do the coffee Dude, angle. When you said, "Do you like coffee?" and he said, "No," I saw your soul leave your body. Yeah, because that was my angle. I want, I was gonna say, "Would you <laughs> would like to grab a cup of coffee with me some day?" Do you like coffee at all? I hate coffee. Oh, yeah, okay, so um. Uh... Yeah, and man. then I tried to do the smoothie thing, and he's like, "I don't like smoothies either." Maybe he saw what you were doing. Yeah, and he didn't like it. He, was not, he wasn't. In yeah. There. Well. Okay. Well, he's he, got to keep going. I'm down. I'm down one zero. <laughs> okay, Scissor Bros here, and we're back. Um, uh, your name? I'm Logan Hannig. Logan, and I I see you're a musician. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Nice meeting you. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. I'm um, a and then, uh, how long you been attending the uh, uh, Musicians Institute? Oh, I actually graduated December 2020, but I'm a teacher's assistant now. That's what's up. And then, um, are are you working on an EP or recording a, a album or song? Uh, I'm actually working on a couple of different things right now, but mostly I'm just gigging around the city. You know. What 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 do you play? I play bass. You play bass. Yeah. Are you hired? Did you do do you do freelance work? If if someone's looking for a ba bass work? Yeah, anything. I'm always looking for different gigs. For because, because I know a lot of independent artists. We do podcasts. I mean, is it cool if I get your information, your number, if to, to hire you for a, for a gig or something? If we listen to your stuff? Of course, man. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Can you write? Can you write it? I don't have my. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, can you take my number down, please? Uh, And then can you ring me real quick? And there you go. Thank you so much. And then where where could we uh, s s people see some, um, hear some of your music? Uh, my Instagram is uh, go ahead. Fortress underscore of underscore Slapitude. It's the Fortress of Slapitude, like Superman, the Fortress of Solitude. You know. <laughs> Thank you. One last question. Who? What's some? What's your favorite band or one of your favorite bands? Oi. Uh, I love the band Cake. Always, always a pleasure. I'm big on the Wu-Tang Clan right now. Wu-Tang forever, baby. And you heard it first on Hollywood Boulevard. Thanks for your time. Uh, yeah. Okay, brother. Okay, thank you. Oh, we need... So, I got to give it up to my man Stevie Weeby right here. That was one minute and 20 seconds. Yes. You know, I've been trying, brother. And we're back. Your name, sir? Christian. Christian, nice meeting you. I love your tattoos, man. Um, uh, are you going to get more tattoos? Yeah, for sure. Okay, um, have you been on, uh, have you been on uh, Kawanga there at... Uh, some of those tattoo shops there? No, no, no. Uh, it's my first day here. What's so. your first day? Where are you visiting from? Uh, Chile. Chile, nice. Uh, I like soccer. Uh, who? Sanchez? Alexi, Alexi Sanchez? Sanchez? Alexi Sanchez. Best player. Best player in Chile, right? Um, are you are, are you going to get more tattoos in the future, though? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Because we know a guy, um, 
uh, we know a tattoo artist, Dresden Made, and maybe we could get you a deal where, because he, he could actually come to you to tattoo. Are you staying uh, somewhere around here? I'm staying in downtown LA. Oh, that's what's up. So, I mean, w would it be cool uh, if we, we could probably link you up with one of our tattoo artists and you, maybe you could see his work? Yeah, for sure. Okay, so can I get some, uh, your, uh, do you have a, a number I can, can I contact you via uh, Instagram or, Instagram or uh, do you have a, a phone number? Uh, not yet, I don't have a phone number yet. So, but, but, it, but, but I get contact you through Instagram? Yes, for okay, sure. Okay, cool. And then you would be interested, you'd be interested in uh, looking at uh, Dresden's work. Yeah, okay. that would be awesome. Uh, okay, and then uh, how, how long are you out here for? Uh, I'll be here for 20 days. That's what's up. Uh, you go to Venice Beach yet? Not yet, I really want to go. Okay, but I can get your info as far as your Instagram stuff? Yeah. Okay, dude, thank you so much. Hell yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, you know, I'm gonna get more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what's up. Thank you. Yeah, that's what's up. Thank you. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, can I get your Instagram now? Yeah. What is it? Okay. Thank you. What is your YouTube channel? It's called the uh, Scissor Bros. Mm -hmm. It couldn't load user. Yeah, I couldn't load user. Uh, Q U A N G O U. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Q U A N G O U. Q U A N G O U. Q U A N G O U. Ah, that's your. Yes, that's my Instagram. Yes. I don't know. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's just. It, it's. He's not getting. Uh, yeah. He's not getting Wi-Fi here. Yeah. So, okay, it's okay. Uh, you got it. Yeah, so he got it. He got it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for your time. Yeah, he doesn't have a phone. He doesn't have a phone. You said you don't have a phone. Okay, so thanks for your time. Okay, thank you. Thanks, guys. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Hi, how are you? What's your name? Patricio. Patricio, I'm Jeremiah, nice to meet you. Hi, nice. Jeremiah, you say? Jeremiah. Oh, Jeremiah. Oh, Jeremiah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I have a question for you. If I can get your phone number in 10 seconds, I will Venmo you $20. Can you do that for me? If you can get my phone number? Uh-huh. Oh. I will send you $20. You can block me. You can block my phone number right after I pay you. Are you willing to do that? Okay, that's gonna be difficult because I'm from another country. Can you, what's what's your phone number? You don't know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good. It's good. What is it? Uh huh. Uh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. We're missing a number? Or is it? Yeah? And then, do you have your phone on you? Yeah, I got it. Is it ringing? It's from the line. It's not gonna go through? No, it's not gonna go through. Oh, all right. Well, we tried. Okay, well, I guess I owe you $20 uh, Venmo. Do you have Venmo, the app? No, I didn't use it. I don't use it. All right, well. We, we did our best today. Thank you so much for, for coming on Scissor Bros. And Patricio, is there anything you'd like to plug or anything? Uh, what did you say? Is, is there anything that you would like to uh, tell people to follow you online or anything like that? Oh, yeah. My name is Patricio. Arroz L. Follow me on Instagram. I'm the president of University of Alparaiso in Chile. Greetings. Awesome. Thanks so much. Great. Can I well, I guess that was an approach, but it was some low ball shit. <laughs> you offered, that was some you, low you offered ball to shit. freaking hire somebody. No, no, Are you gonna no, hire no, that no. guitarist? Hold on. Are you gonna hire that? I guitarist? know, but I didn't. Is that what you're gonna? I do? didn't use money as bribery. You said you were going to hire him. Let so me let like, me tell you oh, something. I'll give you an that. analogy. There. Let me give you an analogy. Okay, what's the analogy? When me and my brother played a game called Knockout Kings, there's a move where you hit him in the nuts. And it was a ch you, you could it was there's an option to do it, but it was the lowest thing you could do in the game. You just hit me in the nuts. <laughs> I saw what you did by offering someone a paying gig, so I just cut to no, the chase. No, no, no. You, ven you offered twenty dollars to Venmo we him. We can do whatever we want. So did you get his number? No. Yes. <laughs> 
Not technically, because yeah. he said technically it didn't you go didn't. Uh, technically, all didn't right. So you have one more try since I have. Okay, you have one more try. Yeah, we're both. We've we're, both interviewed two. People. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I did three. Yeah. Didn't I do three? You get one more. And this is your. This is the blood round. Oh, okay. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, how's it going? What's your name, man? Jason Jefferson. Jason Jefferson. Nice to meet you. I'm Jeremiah. Nice to meet you too. I will give you twenty dollars on Venmo or Cash App if you call this number on your phone right now. Time is ticking. Time is a ticking. What's that? Yep. What's that? Six. Uh huh. Let's see here. And boom. All right. I will Venmo or Cash App you. Uh, let me get your information right now. But you just passed the test. Oh, that's it. That's it. So um, the, the the challenge was it was fair and square. Jeremiah won. What was the time? It was, you got it under a minute or something like that. It was a cheap way of winning, but you won. Okay. And so my punishment is what's your name? Tania. Tania. Uh, my punishment is having someone, a female, slap me in the face. So. And you can go. Uh, yeah. You can go. As it's up. To, as you yeah, like. it's up to you. Because this is a punishment. <laughs> yeah, there's a punishment. The, the punishment. Just yeah, but you can. You, open, however, open you want to do it. Oh, but she's got long nails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got. She's, yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. And you can really go for it. Yeah, yeah, go. Really you cock, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. You got yeah, this. Go, go. You got this. Give, give me one more. Give me one. Give me one more. Give me one more. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Thanks for your time. You guys have a good one. Thanks for your time. YouTube.com slash Scissor Bros. Thank, thank you. That, that second one was good. I felt it. So, how's my boy Stevie Weeby feeling right now after getting so 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 loud? Good job. <laughs> good job. <laughs> you, did, you did good. That was that was a good win. Yeah, you like that one? Yeah, that was a good one. That win. was a good challenge, right? So uh, I don't know. This is our first time doing this type of stuff. If y'all like it, comment below, and we'll do more of this type of stuff on the street. If you if you like this on the street, like man on the street, like anything can happen kind of challenge. Like we're trying to broaden the challenges just so we're not doing it always in the garage studio. So if you like it, yeah, comment below. Make sure you're subscribed. We love you guys. Love you guys. Good job. You did good, you did good, you did good. Thank you so much. <laughs> that was pretty good. Scissor Brothers! Um, hello? It's your pal, Gerald, and hope you guys like the challenge this week. Uh, sorry for the interference. That was me. I was on my cell phone next to the Zoom recorder. Might have been talking to my dealer in Colombia. Anywho, that was my B. How the hell was your week? You have one of those good goods? I had a pretty good week. I got a hoof a cure. You know, treated myself. For being a single dad over Mother's Day weekend. Things are good. Anywho, I did produce uh, this new Stand Up on the Spot episode that's out on a week from Monday on the 23rd, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That features Tony Baker, Jesse Mae Peluso, Josh Potter, Todd Glass, and of course that so-and-so Jeremiah. I think you guys will enjoy it. But anyway, a lot of good stuff in the works. We're doing our best to get real creative with these challenges. Make sure you tell a friend. This YouTube thing is weird. We've been having a lot of people say that it's no longer notifying them, even though they're subscribed. So who knows what the fuck's going on. Sorry for my language. Okay, see you guys soon. Love you. Bye. I got my little backpack. It is so easy to see. 
Even when the lights go out, go out. My friends can still find me Come find me